Welcome back to my channel. In this series finale of my NYC 2023 vlog, we will be running in Central Park. Remember, my channel is all about traveling and running, so this is the perfect episode that combines these two themes. Every year that I've taken a summer trip to NYC, I try to incorporate a run through Central Park as part of my training for the fall races. To save time, we're gonna take the train up to Central Park. It would have taken us 30 minutes to walk from our hotel to Central Park as opposed to taking the subway for two stops. I think we'll save our legs for the run. We're here in Central Park and this morning we're gonna be doing the big loop and that's about six miles, 10K or something like that. I usually do this loop whenever I come to New York City. Only because I'm here in Central Park, I put on my 2018 New York City Marathon tank. This run's gonna bring back some good memories of that year. And we're off. It's the 2023 New York trip Central Park run. About 10 seconds into the run, I was kind of kicking myself for not getting up earlier because it was already hot and humid before 9 a.m. But hey, I'm on vacation. That morning, the New York Roadrunners was hosting a four mile race with Achilles International in Central Park. So there were going to be a lot more runners on this public road than I'm used to. Oh well, I think of all the races I've ran where part of the course had to be shared with the public, like the Surf City Marathon. All right, super annoying. I accidentally hit the end button when I should have been hitting pause because a truck turned right in front of me here in Central Park. No worries, I'm just gonna start another run on my Apple Watch. At least I still had my Strava app running on my phone as my secondary tracking device. Ooh, this is the worst part. I don't know where you go. Uphill, a mile three. Oh. That's right, I hate this part of the loop where you run uphill going in the uptown direction. The East Coast humidity was not making things easier. Sorry, I'm gonna take a minute walk right because the humidity is getting to me. I didn't realize how hot it was gonna get this morning. I should have left a little earlier. And it looks like we're approaching the crest. So we went to get to the, all right. Once we get to the crest, we'll start running again. All right, it's go time. I see I have joined up with the runners from the race on the downhill part of the loop. I guess their race course did not extend into the uphill section of the park, so it was a bit of a shock to bump into them here. As I started seeing buildings again, I knew I was getting close to the end of the loop, but I didn't know by how much because the distance on my watch was messed up from having hit end earlier. Was I close to six miles? Four, Jeffrey, I thought we were at the end, but I still have like way four miles of have to go. We ended where we started off at. And John. I want to go down the nice so job. Good. Like step off to the side. Okay, that run was a little funky because I had to stop and start a few times because I accidentally hit my watch, stop, and then accidentally hit it too early. But that's okay, I got six mile in, don't really care for the time. Still had an enjoyable experience here. Also, seeing the finish line for the Achilles International Race confused me because I'm used to hitting end on my watch when I see a finish line. Just kidding. Um, actually, I really am point two miles away from our starting point. I just got disoriented with all these runners, so we gotta keep going. You could see from my Strava app that I ended the run short of where I started, so not quite the loop that I had planned, so it was back to running. No pacers, no problems. I'll just turn on Google Map to tell me where to stop. Who's faster, me or the horse? Oh, there's not a carriage. I've got horse power. And here we are, there's the monument. So, uh, got off the loop there, so we're done for real. 
Turns out, I had to run an extra half mile to the starting point, so I was really off. Sorry, that was a really disorganized session. I got lost, a little disoriented with all these people here, and then my watch, uh, having some issues because I hit the stop button when I was supposed to, so that really messed up the distance. I wasn't really sure where the end of the loop was. Regardless, I had a fun morning here as always and can't wait to run this loop again. Hopefully not get lost or hit the wrong thing on my watch next year. Jason, over here! And look, there's my husband. He survived the six mile run or 6.2 or whatever it was. Hey, good job! That was a tough run and you'd made it. It's really hard. And this is exactly what we need after that hot run around the loop of Central Park. Pro tip, carry some cash or a credit card in your running belt in case you need to buy a drink. They did take Apple Pay, but you can't always rely on a vendor to have contactless payment options. So that was a tough run. So what made you get through it? Well, especially when you come around the back end, it's a really severe incline and it just beats the life force out of you. And I had this small voice in my head saying, just give up, just give up. It doesn't matter. You can Uber your way back or something. But then I, I saw these people from Team Achilles, some people with cerebral palsy, some people with amputations, and they're out there running the race. And so I guess my little voice got drowned out by a much larger voice that said, suck it up and get it together. You don't have any excuses. And I well said, Achilles International is an organization that encourages people with disabilities to participate in mainstream races and provide support and training to people of all levels. Seeing those runners and the people running to support the cause certainly was inspiring. So I took the time to calculate all those times that I hit stop and start and it turns out I ran a total of 6.51 miles with a finish time of 58.45 at a pace of 9.01. So still what my coach wanted me to do today. I did get their contact info and I hope one day to give back to the organization after I achieve a Boston qualifier.